Hi everybody, and welcome to episode 4 of the Game & Browse Toy Box. And today, strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Yes, things are very strange because today we're looking at some Bill & Ted atypical vintage trading cards from the year 1991. We are doing this in celebration of the new Bill & Ted movie, which releases today in theaters, Bill & Ted 3 Face the Music. So we're very, very excited to see that movie tonight, and to kind of get you guys in on the hype, we're going to share this vintage trading card opening with you. So um, those of you that know me know that my favorite genre of movie is the dude movie. So you know, the gnarly, radical type of high school dude movie makes you feel good. Uh, it was a genre that was very prevalent in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So things like Encino Man, Wayne's World, Bill and Ted, they're my bread and butter. So I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys today. All right, so things are gonna be a little bit different than how we normally do things. A lot of our stuff is very scripted, so um, today we've got a DJI gimbal here that we're going to use as an alternate angle that I'll put um, cards in front of. You can also see our nice little layout of all the dude movies and merch that we currently have here. Um, and since it's going to be live, it's going to be a little unscripted, a little unpolished, but that's fine. Uh, you know, you can only open these things once. So I ordered five of them off of eBay. Uh, I'll show you a listing from the eBay ad because the person who sold them actually had them in a really cool display box as well. And um, uh, you know, I, I figured with the movie coming out, I wouldn't miss the opportunity to just buy these cards and have some fun opening them for you guys here on the channel. So, yeah, um, if you want to go ahead and read off some of the stuff on the front of the card here. Yeah, sure. So it says 10 triumphant cards, Bill and Ted's most atypical movie cards. Now, Aaron, you can win a bodacious trip to San Dimas, California, <laughs> which is, of course, where the uh, Bill and Ted movies take place. And I'm very curious to see if they uh, if their kids go to San Dimas High in the uh, third movie that comes out today. We've read very, very little about the movie, so we know very little because we want to be surprised. We've also read very, very little about the cards, so this let's go correct. ahead and get on this right now. All right, so it says top quality cotton Bill & Ted t-shirts. So this is some sort of mailer. You can pause the video and read it yourself, but it looks like there was some sort of promotional Bill & Ted t-shirt here that you could send away for. For uh, a total of $11.95, all right. Man, I wish... Eleven ninety five for yeah, that, a licensed T-shirt. Most, most things are going to be in twenty to thirty dollar. You know, if That's you go a to great deal. like let's say Spencer's or Hot Topic places that would uh, sell this kind of merch. Yeah, it says it's a pro set. So if you're into trading cards, you know that you usually get so many in a pack. And... Yeah, these uh, come with ten cards. Yep. And like I said, we have five of them. I don't know if we'll open that fifth one. We'll, we'll judge that how we feel going forward because we might want one to display. Yeah. But uh, at, at the very least, we're gonna have forty cards here to open. So pro set, you know, they do things like sports cards and all yep. those and whatnot. But uh, yeah, uh, another thing that let's see what we got going on here. It says that you can mail away for a checklist. So if you're into that kind of completionist uh, mentality, you could have mailed away for a checklist. That way you could uh, kind of stay organized on which cards you needed and which cards you had. So there you go. All right, well. Okay, you want me to go first? Yeah, let's go ahead and get into opening this one here. All right. I hate some, you know, part of me kind of hates opening vintage stuff because, you know, you can never yeah. reseal it, but we'll take care of them and maybe we'll make something out of the cellophane. All right, again, I have no idea what to expect. So here we go. Okay, so we got some scenes from the movie. Okay, so this is from Bogus Journey. So that would be the uh, uh, sequel movie. Oh, okay, this is this, where- This is the grandma. Right, they're in hell and they're being terrorized by the grandmother. All right, oh, what does it have on the back? Oh yeah, we got a little bit of story. Yeah, it's Bill's grandma, oh. Granny S. Preston. Yep, it's the scene, act it's actually the scene from the movie. So, so fun fact actually about this scene right here. Um, we, uh, we watched the movies last night and it was uh, very interesting to learn that not only does Alex Winter play, obviously, uh, Bill, but he also played the grandma in this scene. <laughs> so it was hilarious to think awesome. about that. All right. So this next one here is also from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And it is the... Oh, it's the scene where they play games with the Grim Reaper, where they're playing Battleship to try to get out of hell. And the Grim Reaper keeps saying, okay, well, you know, three out of five or five out of seven. So there's that scene here. Um, let's see here. This one's from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Okay, so, so that, okay, that would be Beef Oven. Beef Oven, yeah. where they're um, having them help Bill and Ted with their chores around the house. That's fun. The chores are completed in a historical figures pile. Oh, yeah, we got car. Abraham Lincoln and Sigmund Frude. Frude. Excellent. We've got this one here from Excellent Adventure. So it's time for Rufus to seek Bill and Ted and let them get started on their Excellent Adventure. Excellent. 
What is this one here? This one's from Excellent Adventure. Oh, oh this, this is, is where... this is the Circle K. All right, yes. this is the first one. Yeah, whenever they come back and, and say hi to their present, self. well, yeah, present or past self, right. depending on how you look at it. Don't forget to wind your watch. Yeah. Oh my God, Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's whenever Napoleon goes through that whole entire giant bowl of ice cream and uh, the, the Ziggy Piggy little badge that he ends up getting because he I eats the whole it. thing. Yeah, I want to be a Ziggy Piggy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, this is where Genghis Khan goes totally ham in the sporting goods store and beats the heck out of the mannequin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and shortly after this scene. Um, is one of our favorite sequences in the movie. They play, uh, um, in the background, they play Play With Me by Extreme, which Love if you don't band. know, uh, Extreme is one of our favorite bands. Like, it, it uh, actually was our wedding dance song. We listened to more than words. And we're currently on a quest to try to find them somewhere in the world, but they seem impossible to track down. Yeah, so Nuno, if you're watching this, come to St. Louis, please. Uh, okay, here is Bill and Ted with Death, of course, from Bogus Journey. Here is oh, oh the creepy robot versions, <laughs> robot yeah. villains yeah that are uh, built by um, Station. Station, yes. Oh yeah, there you go, perfect Station. And then what do we have here? I can't oh, tell no, what no. this one is. Bill and Ted rush out the door and decide to split up and dive through opposite Oh, okay, passageways. it's the other, you know, dreamscape in hell. It's the, oh, it's the, the Easter e Bunny. Yeah. That's right, because uh, he ate Deacon's Easter basket. Yeah, that horrible frying. Ooh, thing. instant win rules. Did we that win? That is a lot of fine print. Have your own excellent adventure. Win instantly. Did I win? Oh, oh, oh it's, it's a scratcher. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is we, great. Do we have anything? Uh, uh, hold on, fingernail. Oh, sorry, dude. Try again. Sorry, dude. Um, oh, man, that's okay. Okay, so we're not going to San Dimas this time. That's all right. Okay, let's get on with the next pack. All right. You want to so, open this one? So let's go ahead and see. We've got a Abraham Lincoln. This is whenever they're <laughs> giving the final presentation speech. Nice. Oh, yeah, spoilers for these cards, by the way. If you haven't seen Bill and Ted, though, I mean, you've had a while. Well, I mean, literally, <laughs> I, I, this, this whole entire thing is going to reflect both of the movies, so... It's a giant spoiler alert, actually. <laughs> For both movies. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, be excellent to each other. Yeah. Be <laughs> be excellent to each other. And party on! Oh, my gosh. You probably clipped yeah, mics. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, it's great. But he yells. Okay, so here. Actually, you go ahead and read them. You're, you're, you're more efficient at reading than I am. All right. Okay, I'm trying to remember this scene Oatsy. here. Oh, yeah, Otsi. That's right, because Ted is uh, threatened throughout the whole movie to be sent to Alaskan military camp. Ah, uh, yes, Joan of Arc, Noah's wife, right? <laughs> if you remember, that, that's so funny. But yes, here's Joan of Arc, thinking that Bill and Ted are gods as they appear in front of her. It's from the first movie. We've got, oh, Mr. Rufus himself, or should I say Rufus? George Carlin, may he rest in peace. So uh, we got George Carlin here, a nice shot of Rufus. Here is, oh, this is where Bill and Ted are repairing the antenna. On the... With uh, pudding cans and bubblegum. Yes, and it looks super nasty. So there we go. Oh, I like this shot. That's just a really good shot right there. I yeah, like that, that just one. looks actually like, like a glamour shot for the movie. Station, yeah. Bill and Ted make it to a most unrivaled primetime television series. Check it out on Fox Television. That was a thing. Oh, I don't... Wow, I thought I knew a lot about Bill and Ted, but I didn't know that. Okay, we're going to have to do some sort of addendum to this video and figure that out. All right, here is, of course, the council from Excellent Adventure. These are the future people. Be excellent to each other. This is oh, Napoleon's battle plan. Uh, this is during their final presentation near the end of the movie. Napoleon's about to slam his little baton thing here and clear off the whole map. Yeah, whenever he's disagreeing about what Bill and Ted are trying to warn him about <laughs> right. Waterloo. Yes, Mozart, uh, Ted notes Beethoven, uh, Beethoven. Beethoven's favorite works. Mozart's Requiem, Handel's Messiah, and Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. Yes, perfect. Oh, we got a double already. All right, yeah. Well, that's, that's of to be course expected. something we're gonna run into. Yes, definitely. Oh, oh, yeah, the ice skating rink. Yes, Billy very nice. Kid and, yeah. Yep, and they're all taken to San Dimas Jail. Here, you want to go right. and scratch us off another one real yeah, quick while all right. I open this card? Do you guys think we're going to win this time? What if we do win? Probably like... Do we get a retroactive? I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to go see them. It's, uh, you know, been quite some time, but... I just see Ari de Triag. Triag. But I'm pretty good at context clues, so I don't think we won that one. All right. <laughs> So here we go. We got a new set of cards Pack here. Pack number three. You want me to show them again? Yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. So this is, is this where they're battling their robot, the robot us's? Yes, I think so. Yep. 
Uh, Bill and Ted hit two self-destructing buttons in the necks of evil Bill and Ted. Yep. All right, so that's the end of the second movie, spoiler alert, uh, where they defeat the robots, their robot selves. Yeah, looks like we got another double, too. Oh, well. Yep, there's OC again. Got to double him. Oh, got oh, a double of Joan of Arc. Well, let's go ahead and use that. Oh, my that. gosh, that's a double of Rufus. Let's go ahead and use that as a... Uh... A double of the fixing. Oh, my gosh, this is like a complete duplicate pack. So, note to self, if you buy these... You uh, might get some doubles. This is well. All I mean, there's doubles. only so much you can really do with two 90-minute movies. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that whole pack was doubles. Well, good thing I didn't buy more than you know five. <laughs> all right, on note. to the the fourth pack here. Pack number four. Yeah. Most atypical pack opening. Well, at the rate we're going, I don't think I'm going to open this fifth one. I'd like to keep it in pristine shape. We're not getting too many unique cards, really, and. Uh, we're definitely not winning any bodacious trip anytime soon. Oh, but with our luck, that winning card is probably in that last pack. <laughs> All right, here's Death giving you the finger, I guess. <laughs> the pointy finger. The pointer finger. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, if they lose, their eternal destiny is doomed. Yes, perfect. All right, here is Socrates. Oh, yeah. yeah. Socrates and Sigmund Frude from the first movie. Oh, Napoleon yeah, is dished by Waterloo. Deacon. Waterloo. Yeah, love it. Oh my gosh, that scene where he's going down the water slide is so funny. What is this from? I think this is whenever they're, when they're dead stuck and they're, in the desert. Yeah, and they're escaping death. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, after they, they give him a, uh, a Melvin. Yeah, giving death a Melvin. Perfect. Um, Let's see here. We've got, is this? Yep, Denomalos out to change the destiny of wild stallions. We've got, okay, this is where the real Bill and Ted are actually pushed off a cliff in the desert by the robot Bill and Ted, thus starting their descent into hell. Which is, from what I understood whenever we were watching it, they kind of framed it up with an episode of Star Trek. Yes. I'm pretty sure this is where Captain Kirk fought the Gorn. It's that same famous uh, desert area. Right, exactly, very good. All right, we've got, oh, the babes, the princesses. Perfect. And this is from the second movie. Yep, Bill and Ted helped celebrate. 521st birthday, all yep. right. Looked pretty good for 521. Here is, oh, this is at the very end of the movie where Death uh, becomes their bass player. And he has a little solo gig there. Gim the Grim Reaper owes them two more lives. There we go. Um, Socrates and Mr. The Kid, Billy the Kid, from the first movie. After a mad dash through the medieval festival, Bill, Ted, Billy the Kid, and Socrates barely get the phone booth off to escape the henchmen. Uh, oh, I like this action shot here. Oh, this is where they're grabbing Sigmund Frude, isn't it? Oh, uh... Because Billy the Kid lassos him, right? No, they're lassoing, uh, Freud. Yep. Yeah, Sigmund yeah. Frude. Oh, Frude. I'm sorry. I thought you said Socrates. <laughs> no, uh, Socrates is right here. Yeah, I know that. I'm dumb. <laughs> no, you're no, not. It's, uh, yeah, Vienna yeah, in uh, 1901. Austria, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, the time travelers have enough time to bag some extra credit. That's right. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this is where... Luckily, I fell out of my suit when I hit the bottom. You think oh, that yeah. Ted is impaled and Bill yeah, freaks very out. Very convenient. Right. Dressed in heavy metal. Yeah, we're heavy metal! Bill and Ted brush with a non-triumphant disaster in the castle. All right. Um. Okay, instant winner. Here we go. Man, it would be a great time to actually have fingernails. Erg. Sorry, dude. Try again. All right, we got one more. One more. That's right, because there was that one pack that you opened that I forgot to scratch. Come on, I want to go to San Dimas. I need a vacation. Sorry, dude. Try again. All right. All right. We're not going this time, but maybe eventually. A grand prize, a four-day, three-night trip for two people to San Dimas, California. First prize was a GTE telephone booth. You get booth. the whole telephone booth? That's amazing. Plus many other prizes, including Bill & Ted's Nintendo games, Bill & Ted's Game Boy games, and Bill & Ted t-shirts. And what does this say down here? For your free copy of the Pro Set Gazette, containing checklists, merchandise, catalogs, and other great contests, send your full name and address to Pro Set Gazette BTMC. But this is just your typical sweepstakes entry form. You'd probably rip it off here and send it in. I wonder what would happen if we sent it in. Uh, probably not much. Yeah, probably not. Is ProSet not. still even around? I don't know. We'd have to Google that. I don't think so, but honestly, I'm not sure. All right. Well, that's that. I think we're going to hold on to this last one just because uh, it'd be nice to actually keep one for the collection down here in the Who basement. Knows? Might acquire some value someday. 
doubtful, but I mean, you know, especially considering, uh, you know, this pile of cards mostly amounted to quite a few duplicates and nothing terribly special. You know what I noticed was there was nothing like holographic or holofoil yeah, or anything? Yeah, they're, they're mostly just standard card stock here. Yeah, I wonder if there was a holographic card in this set or not, or maybe these had been weighted, but anyway, just food for thought. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining us today on the Game & Browse Toy Box. We hope that you enjoyed this look at these vintage 1991 Bill & Ted trading cards. So uh, we don't know about you guys, but we're planning on going to the local drive-in tonight to see uh, Bill & Ted Part 3 face the music. Uh, we're really, really excited because we get to go be part of the hype, but we also get to stay at a safe social distance. So remember, if you go out tonight, be most excellent to each other. And party on, dudes! <laughs> Fun fact, Steve Vai actually did a lot of those. So yeah, anyway, bye for real now. Bye.